Welcome to the HMG Executive Leadership Spotlight. Here's our host, Hunter Muller. Hello, and welcome to the HMG Spotlight. Uh, we're here with Tom Peck, the Executive Vice President, Chief Information Officer, and CDO for Cisco Foods. Tom, great to have you here today. Hey, Hunter. Good to see you, and thanks so much. You know, Cisco is an amazing company with truly a unique culture, and, and you have a really an amazing CEO in, in Kevin Hurricane. Um, tell us about the culture. What's unique about the culture? And when you first started, what do you really what what, what was there, and what, what did you find that was truly unique? Yeah, great, great uh, question. A lot of us, when we we switch jobs or, or move on to other opportunities, we're we're not only looking for for great uh, jobs, if you will, but great bosses and great corporate cultures and. Cisco really is an amazing company. We're a, a food distribution company, what we call the leading provider for food away from home. Think restaurants, sports stadiums, cafeterias, and, and the such. Uh, fiscal 21 sales of over $50 billion. About 66% of that is to restaurants. Um, and, and Hunter, as, as you know, and, and for your, your audience, we have about 650,000 customers in 90 countries almost 350 distribution centers and almost 60,000 associates and 14,000 trucks. And you can see one of the trucks behind us, but um, the size and scale is interesting and, and, and tremendous. But uh, what's most unique about our culture is our relentless focus on both the customer and growth. These are not just words or a rallying cry. They're, they're, um, they're how we run the business. It's how we behave. It's the, 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 the corporate culture of the norms and the behaviors of what happens um, when we show up for work. It's about winning in the market. Um, it's about how we um, deal with our customers. Hunter, we actually start every one of our large meetings with uh, what we call a purpose moment. Our purpose at Cisco is called connecting the world to share food and care for one another. We believe that what we do helps bring people together and brings goodness and, and brings conversations, whether it's at restaurants or your kitchen table, connecting the world to share food and care for one another. Our corporate social responsibility, our th philanthropic goals, our focus on customer and growth um, is what rallies this amazing company and the amazing associates that we work with. It's just a great culture and it's far exceeded even my expectations over the past year, year and a half that I've been here. Great stuff. That higher purpose or mission really matters, doesn't it? It does. Ab absolutely. We're, we're finding even more of our associates and employees that we hire are looking for that higher purpose. They want to be attached to a company that has a, a higher purpose. So we're really, really pleased with what we're doing at Cisco. Exciting stuff, Tom. When you think about the interviewing process, uh, you met directly with Kevin several times, part of it digital, part of it in person during the uh, pandemic early days. What was it unique about Kevin and the culture that you knew this was for you? Yeah, Kevin Hurricane, our, our um, um, chief executive officer, he's an amazing person uh, doing uh, amazing things. You know, they, they say you join companies because of your boss and you leave companies because of your boss. And Kevin uh, took a, a very personal interest in the interview and the selection process, uh, took the time to explain and help, you know, sell the company, the culture, the mission, the vision, the strategy. Uh, he was well our, um, able to very clearly and well articulate our recipe for growth, which is how we've coined our corporate strategy. It really provided a lot of clarity around my role, my team's role. Um, you know, Kevin and I, you know, joke sometimes together that, that people like he and I and the, the other leaders on our team here at Cisco, we have a, a quote unquote bigger motor uh, maybe than, than others, a bigger motor in reference to our work ethic, our dedication. And when you hear um, that and when you see my peers and colleagues and the leaders and, and Kevin, uh, it's inspiring. It's motivating. It wants us to do better each and every day. And uh, the other thing that I would say about um, Kevin are, are, uh, in the relationship between a chief information digital officer and a CE CEO is we love to work for leaders, Hunter, that um, not just reference the importance of digital and technology and transformation, but actually understand it, believe in it, trust in it, and um, talk to Wall Street and shareholders and board members and customers about digital transformation. So working for a boss who, quote unquote, gets it is, uh, is just truly inspirational, Hunter. I, I've seen him on CNBC with uh, Kramer on uh, Kramer's Mad Money show, and he talks about the digital innovation and the, the digital agenda, and you're part of that. You're driving that. Yeah, I, I, I love I love seeing Kevin and, and um, uh, Kramer talk and, and, and get into uh, a lot of the digital transformation we're doing. And um, it, it's 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 fascinating when, when you hear the two of them talk on CNBC. And 
uh, viewing Cisco, who's traditionally a, a, a business-to-business logistics and trucking and food distribution company, known as an innovative company, known as a growth company, known as bringing uh, new innovative ways of serving, servicing our, our customers, but also the customers of our customers, the restaurants and the dining establishments that you go to. So um, it's really a, a great time to be here and a great time to hear our story. Hey, Tom, you had a really interesting time and point and place when you joined. And Kevin said, hey, we really do need to reimagine and reinvent ourselves or we're, this is a crisis, right? All of a sudden, everything was disrupted. People weren't going to restaurants. So in a way, you had a chance to whiteboard a whole new world or in an open space with Kevin in the C-suite, reimagining, reinventing the platform, the ecosystem, and a frictionless customer interface. Talk to us about that journey, that point in time, and, and where you are now. Yeah, um, we, we, we clearly had a, a, a mandate, um, a forcing function, as I like to say, driven by, by COVID to... Uh, not just talk about transformation, but to truly, truly do it and, and to deliver and, and to accelerate that. And you use the right words, um, you know, ease of use, frictionless experience. And let me just briefly, you know, explain what that means. Um, I, I alluded to earlier our, our strategy called the quote unquote recipe for growth, um, which we define as our relentless focus on, on digitizing those customer experiences. You know, as I like to explain it, we're a, you know, as, as, I, as I said earlier, we're a traditional business to business logistics company that is transitioning into a much more consumer like or B2C modern growth company. But what does this really mean? It's really three things, Hunter. It's, it's the ability to deliver a personalized experience where every one of our customers, as we like to say, N equals one, you get a personalized experience both with our sales associates and with our online tools. Number one, personalized. Number two, it's about minimizing friction, making it really easy to do business with us. We don't want you transacting with us. We want you shopping with us. We want to make every click, every touch point, every experience, the ability to shop with us. And number three, it's all about empowering. And when you think about empowering, it's all about self-service. Like consumers, our customers want to shop anytime, anywhere, and any device. And just to bring it to life, um, we have a... um, an online e-commerce platform. It's called Shop, Cisco Shop. It's been a huge success as we try to deliver these consumer-like experiences to our customers. Uh, we want to move our customers off of reorder lists. Hey, we just click the reorder button. We want them to shop. We want them to, to experience recommendations and upselling and cross-selling. And you might also like these products as well. We're seeing higher net sales per order and higher lines per order because of this personalization, self-service, and empowered online experience. And we're projected to be up uh, 33% year over year on our online sales and customer place orders at a record high. So it's really a true success story on driving consumer like online uh, that came out of this pandemic on a really great success story. Interesting stuff. Wow. Great work. When you think about a pivot or more importantly, the acceleration of the digital strategy really starting to hit revenue in the, the register, uh, what happened? When, when did it? When did it all of a sudden accelerate? Yeah, it, it's it's a great question because you know people like me and my my peers and, and colleagues we've been talking about you know transformation and digitization for for years and, and perhaps even decades. But you know this pivot and acceleration point that you allude to, you know over the last year or two, you know that forcing function that I called it. Um, you know we we were we had no we had no choice. We had to do something now. We had to help our customers reinvent themselves. It started with maybe some simple things that we might take for granted sometimes, uh, you know, introducing the concept of QR codes for touchless menus, changing how and when we do deliveries, changing minimum order quantities, um, accelerating how we infuse artificial intelligence into our tools and into our supply chains so that we could really focus on, on delivery. Um, in today's market, when um, uh, you've got some uh, cost of goods sold, inflation, worker pressures, uh, fill rates might be pressured. Uh, brand loyalty is something that you traditionally can't rely on. Our customers want execution. They want innovation. They want creativity. And I think the huge lesson here for, for all of us, uh, Hunter, is um, you need to transform and digitize before crisis. You can't be reactive. You need to anticipate. You need to see around those corners, as we've heard people talk about. Because, uh, you know, during a crisis, you can either hunker down and try to survive, or you can do what we did at Cisco. We went on offense. We're winning. We're emerging stronger. 
And we clearly did the latter. We clearly went on offense and we we're clearly trying to get ahead and perform and innovate before the next crisis. Thank you so much for coming on today's program. Uh, you know, it thrills me to no end to nominate you as a 2023 Hall of Famer for the Global Leadership Institute. Uh, amazing stuff. Uh, you're a dear friend. We go back over a decade and we love collaborating and working together. Thank you so much, Hunter. To you and your HMG team, you do amazing work. Uh, uh, the, the, the work you do to support us, to network us, to, to teach us, to educate us, to put us in, in front of each other. I'm just privileged and honored not just to be recognized with this, this award, but to be part of your, your ecosystem and be part of your circle. So thank you, Hunter. It's truly an, an honor and privilege to be part of your team. Great stuff, Tom. Thanks so much. For more information, please visit hmgstrategy.com and keep up to date by following us on our social media platforms. Thank you.